Alright, it's 2.20 p.m. on Monday, May 17th, 2021. Before I get started, I should uh, tell you guys I had bad vision. My right eye is worse than my left eye. And right now, I got something in my eye. I don't know if it's foundation or sunscreen, but um, here we go. Alright, so if your foundation doesn't have uh, SPF in it, I highly re recommend putting some in it. If it, it doesn't have to be this brand, it can be whatever brand you like. This just happens to be one of my favorites. I mean, mostly because it is cheap. I know what you're already thinking, yes, but, um... Also because you get more for your money, and it's worked my whole life since I was a kid, that and banana boat, so... Yeah. Um, also, this is the foundation I put on today. Milani's... Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer 00BB Nude I feel like I chose a wise color because look, it looks pretty great on me um, and I like the fact that it's a pump bottle so we can say hopefully this is a keeper because I've already had a few problems with it my eyes started itching when I put it on we're going to take a look in the mirror here and see if I apply it evenly, which I didn't. It didn't actually require a lot. It only took a little bit to put on my face. Also, I used this um, one hit prime set and refresh dewy finishing spray. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I put it on with the sunscreen, so it would like you know stay in place. Let me take a drink real quick. Also. If I burp, I'm sorry. This stuff always makes it happen to me. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Before I do anything else, I'm going to open something. This is not makeup related, but it kind of is. Okay, not kind of, but uh, to me it is. It's... A Febreze Small Spaces Lavender Scent uh, thing here. Because I want this area to smell good. I like my room smelling like lavender. A lot of my family members hate lavender, but I don't care what they think. This is not their room. At least the room won't stink when we leave this house, if we ever do. Let me read. I should have read the instructions before I tore it apart. Okay. Yeah, that smells good. And I got just the place for it to go. Um, let's put it back here because this is a very small area that I would like for it to work with. I think I did that right. There we go. Oops. Alright, so. Didn't mean for that to happen. Hit this and it fell off. I don't know if these are the new ones or the old ones. But these are actually really... Okay, these are the new ones. Sorry, the open ones. Duh. Um... I hope I did that right, but it doesn't look like there's any rocket science to it. So we're going to put this foundation back up here. I'm trying to keep this area nice, or nice and organized. I'm sorry, my speech problem is acting up. My right eye is terrible compared to my left eye, so in advanced. But yeah, we're getting started with the eyebrows real quick so I don't forget to do them. And then we're going to do the blush because I always end up doing the blush worse than the um, eyeshadow, which says a lot because eyeshadow is obviously more pigmented in some cases. And I just want my blush to look evenly, so we're going to take, uh, one second, I do have to scratch my ear. It just randomly started itching, but anyway, we're going to take a uh, Max Cheeky Devil here. I love this one. I've used it a couple of times, but otherwise this is pretty brand new. 
and my uh, Moda Pro brush here. I love this brush like so much. I would buy another one just to have a couple. My eyes are really watering, so I probably should wipe off my face before I put um, eyeshadow or any kind of eye makeup on it. Now you'll notice that some of my uh, products here are MAC. Let me lay this down so I don't lose it. So yeah, we're going to start on this side. This doesn't put off a lot of pigment compared to most washes, but I still like it. Sorry, I'm just making sure it's even. Okay, that looks like it's as even as it's going to get. But uh, if I have to, I'll add some highlighter. Which I probably will do because it doesn't really look that even to be honest. So let me take one room out of here. I'm using my uh, Too Faced Can't No Light Glow um, highlighter with uh, Rosy Glow. Or maybe just is called Rosy Glow. And that's just the brand of it, Too Faced Candlelight, I don't know. I also don't really care, so. This is one of my favorites, but I spared it because it's so pretty. I don't really know how much of this to use because I do not know how pigmented this is. Looks like I got more white than pink, and that's not something I'm crazy about, but we're going to be fine, I guess. Okay, there we go. So, I'm do this side now. Okay, I think that worked a lot because it did cancel out a lot of the pink. And, uh, I have never used that one hardly, like maybe a handful of times. So, technically, that was brand new too. Alright, so we're going to put this back up, this Moda Pro, Moda Pro, Moda Pro, Moda Pro brush. I have a case full of Moda brushes right here. There's not very many, but there's some in here of different colors and stuff like that, and I just love the brand, so I keep them in this beautiful Moda case. 
I need to go through my makeup brush collection too because I've got a whole drawer full. Like, and I've got this down here as well. Like these down here are excluded because I know these brands are I'm gonna keep because uh, I've I love them. Like this Beddington Brushes Foundation Brush is a beautiful gold one. These are mostly Mac and NYX. This was the first ever foundation brush I ever owned. This uh, NYX Professional Makeup Number Thirty Seven Foundation Brush. I know you can get a new one for like fifteen dollars but what's the point if you don't have to if you can wash it up and clean it up then what's the point okay so we're gonna put away the uh... blush and i keep this one in my box of my most favorite makeup which is my uh... isaac jacob one here Okay, so, you know, this is mostly got Fenty and MAC in it, and I think there's some other products in here as well, like Ofra and NYX. There's like one Ofra palette in here that's one of a kind, at least I think anyways. And uh, there's a couple of NYX things in here, like in mini eyeshadows and all that stuff. Mini eyeshadows. Not many eyeshadows, you know what I meant. I got three little individual eyeshadows I like from NYX. I love NYX, like, all the way around. That's my favorite brand. Like, if I had to say one brand was my favorite, that would probably be it. Or Fenty. Fenty, oh my god, I love them. But they are so expensive. Okay, so, for the eyes, we will be using... One second, my, uh... Cab Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I literally just got this one a few days ago. But I also think I want to use the Patrick Star one I got if I can find it. I'm still not used to having this set up, guys. This is actually like neat and organized, and my brain is like, what the fuck is going on here? Let me take my phone and look real quick. Plus, my vision's terrible, so. I think I want to do the Patrick Star one. If I can find it. I know it's got to be here. This has got to be it right here. Yep. The one size Patrick Star Cosmetics one. So we're switching this one for this one. So I have two brand new eyeshadow palettes to try. I will show you this organization here in a minute. I'm proud of myself. There's a lot more for me to organize. Like, I've got to get some uh, lipstick organizers bad. So, yeah. Um, these are all beautiful colors. So, Patrick, are you really outdone yourself? Um, so, picking the colors is the trickiest part for me because... These are not colors that I will use a lot. These are too neutral toned, but I'm not getting rid of it because it's a Patrick Star brand. So I already know I'm going to pick Turban Legend because it's a black color and it will go perfectly on the crease of my, or the lid of my eye. And then we're going to pick probably everything for the crease and Rebel Gray for the lid. I gotta pick a uh, eyeshadow primer as well. And they're in these. I got two of these now. These are really handy for organizing like individual eyeshadows. Let me show you here. Like, see? If you have individual eyeshadows or a bunch of little eyeshadow primers like that, that's a good one to do it with. Um, so I'm gonna use the Hero Primer Primer, Eyeshadow Primer, if I don't find my other one that I wanted to use. In the other case, so we're going to see here real quick. You get these for Christmas. These have uh, 
sorry, lip glosses in them and stuff like that. And uh, these are really good at it. Okay, these are individual eyeshadows. See? This has got my MAC Paint Pods, my Sephora eyeshadows, my uh, Kat Von D individual eyeshadow, and my Mally one. <sighs> I don't really want these to fall and break. Sorry, my nose is leaking. Okay. Sorry, I'm just double checking the foundation on my nose. It looks like I need to redo it, but that's okay. Ain't nothing that's gonna fix. Okay, so. Since the Patrick Star palette has a uh, eyeshadow brush in it already, or I mean, eyeshadow brush, duh, I wish. <sighs> Gotta get a primer brush out, that's what I was thinking. And one of my eyeshadow, or one of my brushes fell out. So give me a second here, I put it back. Alright, so... We're going to be using this Pero Primero Primer Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. I don't think I've ever used this one. Maybe I did one time. I don't remember. It looks like I did one time. Also, sorry I keep grabbing at my nose. I feel like it's going to leak again. Like, something gross is going to come out, but it's just like that clear liquid shit that comes out of your nose. Sorry about that. I know it's disgusting to talk about, but you know what? It could be way worse. Damn, it wasn't kidding when it said that stuff's sticky. I better hurry up. Alright, so here we go. We're going to put this in there. That's technically an eyeshadow primer brush. I'm going to pick uh, the three main brushes out of here that I use on the daily. I mean, we're talking about, I gotta talk about something, guys, so I meant to tell you that first. We're talking about moving, but then when we actually sit down and have a conversation about where we would all like to go, it's like we're not even related, me and my family. I say I'm gonna go to Florida or Georgia or South Carolina. And I thought my stepmom did too, but then it turns out she just doesn't want to, and I say, why? And then she says something that I'm not going to say on here because it's bad. I said, why would that affect you? 
It doesn't affect your way you're living. It doesn't affect your income. So my theory is if I'm not out of here in the next four years, I'm getting out with, with or without them. I don't care what they say. I gotta put a little more eyeshadow on the other side to get it to match. See? One side's darker and one side's not. I mean, we're from the South originally. So you think we'd be able to choose a place down there where we want to go? I mean, South Carolina, uh, Florida, Georgia. I'd even take North Carolina, and I'm not bashing the state. I just don't think that's a place I would ever want to call myself, want to call home, you know? Okay, now we're going in with everything. I might have said walnut strut, so if I did, I'm sorry, it's everything. Literally called everything, sorry. This is pretty. I like this color, walnut, uh, sorry, everything. See, I knew I would mess up and call it walnut strut. I was gonna say, is that thunder? No, that's somebody's uh, stereo. See, I like this color. You can't see it very well. This lighting over here sucks, but you'll see it here in a minute when I show you. I'm thinking of switching Rebel Gray for Key Total Tittle Holder or Tittle Holder. I don't know what that word is, but it's a pretty color. So we're going to switch it. So thank you, Patrick Starr, for making this palette. It's such a beautiful palette. And I really like it. Oh yeah, I chose wisely. That's a pretty color. I should have put on my eyeliner, too. I just realized I didn't. For some reason, I kept thinking, man, I already have eyeliner on already. And I didn't even do it. Duh. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're done with the eyeshadow. I remember it goes down here, not up there. I don't want it to fall, so let's see here. How did I have this organized a minute ago? 
I'm going to stand it up because I like that one. I might use it again tomorrow. This is a lavish eyeshadow brush kit. I think I had a set from them before. It was in different colors. Which I probably still have one or two of those because my family gives me everything that they don't want. Okay, so the only thing to pick now is... I don't have to pick, to pick it. I already have it ready. I got my eyeliner and mascara. The Yanta Blue Art Makeup, Professional Art Makeup Liquid Eyeliner 24 Hour. doesn't say anything about being waterproof, that's the only downside. So if my eye continue, continues to be teary, then I'm going to look like I went to a metal concert. Now we're going to turn towards one light. Okay, this doesn't look bad, but I think this is about dried out, so let's see here. If I can make it look even. Okay, I can already tell you this one will be hitting the trash, and it did, just now. Alright, so, I've got a few steps left to do, and that is uh, spray my face in place, which will be with this one hit also, so here we go. Then I've got to, um, that was an accident. But now I'm wondering where the hell is my other, uh, set of makeup wipes, that's weird. Oh, here they are. Okay. I wanted to use these ones because they're about empty. 
before I use my uh, other set. I got two of these and uh, two of the off-brand ones, so yeah. Alright, so we're going to be using the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black, and I'm going to be combing my lashes out. I haven't used this mascara since... Fuck, I don't know when I used this mascara last. Probably since I bought it, so that's probably why it's fairly new still. I literally got this in December of 2019, so this baby's about... We're just going to say two years old. Um, it was my nephew's first Christmas with us. Okay, his second Christmas because he was born December 7th, We're gonna do this. All right. I'm putting this stuff up as I go too, because I don't want to lose it again. I need to brush down my brows, so I meant to put that back up. I'm using a uh, beach type of floral, I guess you could say beach floral type pencil holder as my makeup brush holder right now, and it works pretty well. I also have a Harley Davidson one right here that I can use for other stuff. I don't hardly ever use this mascara, so I'm assuming it does give a fa uh, false lash look. So, we're going to see here. My other side, this side has shorter lashes than the other side. Don't ask me why, but it does. My eye is very dry right now, so. Today was not the day to wear not waterproof mascara, but I don't really know much about this one. So it could be smudge proof, it could be waterproof, it could be everything proof. As I'm thinking about putting some eye drops in next. And that would be common sense, because you know your eyes are dry, you don't want you don't want to be miserable all day. So you know you uh you know you put it in, you put them in.
Okay, so at this point I am done with my almost well, almost done with my makeup. Um I've got to do my uh lips next and I already did my eyes obviously. I just gotta put this back. And I'm gonna put the eyeshadow primer I just used in that uh clear makeup organizer I have. I'm sorry if I seem disorganized guys. My eyeballs just got me a little concerned right now. I'm thinking of waiting on putting something in my eye like eye drops or something because it could make it worse. But also at the same time if it's just dry I just want to get it the fuck over with and just not make it dry you know. Sorry about that. And I gotta wipe off my lips because there's foundation on them and setting spray. I'm going to put on some chapstick. I'm going to show you the chapsticks I got. Alright, so you guys know I love um, soda flavored ones, right? Or scented ones, whatever, same thing. That's a MAC lipstick, sorry. Let me get it out here without ruining my organization here. Excuse me. I got everyone in my family that's a woman one of these. I saw these at Five Below. A few days after I got the um, Hershey Kiss one. And that's got um, regular Mountain Dew, Cherry Pepsi, Mountain Dew Livewire, Vanilla, Cherry Pepsi, and Mug Root Beer. And my mom only wanted the regular Mountain Dew out of hers, so I got a couple spares. So, I'm going to use the one that's already open. I'm going to take them out of this so that I don't uh, lose them. And I'm going to put this back in that drawer. But I just wanted to show you how cute this was. Right now, these are literally $5 at 5 below. Save. Haha. <laughs> but, yeah. That's why I need a bigger lipstick organizer so I can put everything like that in it. I thought I had one, but apparently I don't. I got one that holds 12, not 40. And they literally have one that holds 40, and that's what I really would like to get. here. I'll figure it out here in a minute. I think these are so cute that they're shaped like uh, Pepsi cans. Um, so I figure out how you open it again. So this is Cherry Pepsi. I think I'm going to put this one out here by the other ones. I remember having some like this when I was a kid. I used to use them for my dollhouse when they were gone, the cans, so I thought that was so cute. I do not like how it's tearing the paper up on it though, that kind of pisses me off, but that's okay. So let me show you here. I 
I've got these ones right here. I've got, let's see, Coca-Cola, Barks Root Beer, Reese's, Twizzlers, um, Icebreaker, Bubblegum. Sorry about that. It cut me off and then really upset me. Okay, anyway. So I've got um, Sprite, Coca-Cola, um, Barks. I got um, Reese's, Hershey, Twizzlers, Icebreaker Gum, Bubble Gum, York Peppermint Patty, and I got a spare York Peppermint Patty in my hand. So I'm going to put this one in my uh, lipstick organizer here. No, it's not an organizer, actually. It's just a uh, drawer. And I got three more of the other sodas right here. So I like this one. I like these kind of chapsticks, okay? So I'm putting all my spare new ones up here. And, uh... Also, I got two Vaseline ones right here. This is the Rosy Lips, and this is the original. A NYX confetti party. Sorry, foam party. And, uh... This is just a Jehovah Lip Oil by NK Makeup. This is the biggest lipstick organizer I have right now. Oh yeah, and back here I got a Smashbox. Always on liquid lipstick. And this is the shade... Babe Alert. So, I'm gonna put this back on the uh, little rolling thing beside me because I use these every other night and sometimes I just don't feel like using a candy scented one and I'm putting this one right here with it sorry this is tilted I don't know why it's doing that maybe it was that way the whole video I don't know sorry if it, it was I'm gonna put this one with it um, so I have it out But yeah. Also, I forgot to put up my spare Mac Chili. I have one of these ones already open, so I thought, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put it up. I need to put all my spare lip balms up here. Like, I've got three of these EOS lip balm eggs, Sweet Mint. Oh, that was a nice save. Apparently. And uh, I'll just put them up here. Anything that I've got something spare of, I'll put up here. But yeah. Alright, so I'm wiping off my lips after I do this part now. And I gotta figure out how to merge the videos together because the fucking iPod has uh, shitty storage on it. And all I do is hang this right here. And now, we use this after we put this up. And it's put up. I haven't used this yet. All I did was look at it. And I love the packaging on it. It is so freaking beautiful and sleek. And I love MAC makeup boxes, so I try to keep all the boxes pristine if I can. But they don't always stay that way, so it's going to be easier said than done. This is a brown lipstick. I think I looked at this exact same color at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, so we're going to look here. Sorry about this right here. By the way. Now to do the uh, liner thing with this, I'm going to use my mirror, but I'm going to do the uh, right here. Okay, so we're going to do this.
Alright, so I uh, put all of my MAC products in here. Except for my eyeshadow palette, it's over there somewhere. You guys see it. Um, so I'm going to lay this right here. And while I'm in here, I'm going to pull this NYX eyeliner out. I was looking for that yesterday, and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, it must be in my case. I'm going to pull out all the eyeliners, come to think of it, because... I was having a hard time finding them all. I'm going to leave one in there. It'll be my Marc Jacobs one. My mom doesn't like brown colors on me, but I also don't really care because I think it looks pretty neutral. It's not like I applied I have giant heaping amount of it, so, you know, it's not like I did that. But anyway, uh... This is the finished look right here. Yeah, I chose wisely on the foundation color. Sorry about that again. But, uh... It actually looks more red than it does brown. That's actually pretty. So, yeah, we're done now. And it is currently... 3.08 p.m. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, yeah, peace. Have a wonderful day. Bye.